the Lake Victoria Environment Management Project LEVAMP Phase 2 is an eight-year regional project running from 2009 to 2017. The project is being implemented in all the five East African community partner states of the republics of Kenya, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and the United Republic of Tanzania. The project is implemented in three phases, referred to as adjustable program lending. Kenya is in the process of implementing phase two of LEVAMP, and upon satisfactory implementation of this phase, it will then qualify to implement phase three. The project is funded by the World Bank and is working towards improving the livelihoods of communities in the Nyando River Basin along the lakeshore in the former Nyanza, Western and Rift Valley provinces, covering an estimated area of 3,550 kilometers squared. Through Levem projects, we are focusing on conserving most of the wetlands in the basin through community uh, activities. And we are encouraging communities to identify those wetlands that are very important so that we support them to come up with the measures that will uh, go towards ensuring that we conserve our wetlands. Lake Victoria is facing at the moment so many challenges and one of the causes of the challenge of these problems is due to degradation of our catchment, uh, deforestation, wetlands, destructions, soil erosion and the pollution from both the urban and the rural areas. So the, this project is working with the communities to try and uh, reduce the stress through conservation uh, uh, activities. The integrity and health of any ecosystem, particularly a river basin, to a large extent relies on and is intertwined with the status of the wetlands therein. In this regard, the health of Lake Victoria Basin and Nyando River Basin in particular has been severely affected by the continued degradation of the major wetlands in the areas. To reverse this trend, Lake Victoria Environment Management Project 2, whose objectives are to improve collaborative management of transboundary natural resources of the lake basin for the shared benefit of East Africa community partner states and to reduce environmental stress and enhance the Lake Victoria Basin's ecological integrity, has developed a comprehensive management plan for the wetlands. The four wetlands lying within the basin that are earmarked for development under the management plan are Ombe, Dienosioyet, Kingwal and Koyo wetlands. These are a very key wetlands. They act as the lungs for the Lake Victoria. And by conserving these wetlands, we are likely to save the lake by ensuring that the water that flows into the lake is, uh, is filtered before it is released. And the community we are, that we are working on are willing and have started initiating activities that are going to ensure that these wetlands are conserved for the benefit of um, mankind. Levem 2 supports waste use of wetlands, sustainable management of wetlands. Let us all join hands as the students had said that we all join hands to manage our environment and all our wetlands should be well managed and uh, made wise use of. The constitution provides that 
we are entitled to a healthy and secure environment. And wetlands are very, very important environments for our development. And therefore, we are today here not just to celebrate, but to remind ourselves of our individual and collective responsibility to conserve the wetlands. The management plan is in line with the Ramsar Convention, which emphasizes on seven key aspects, including reconnaissance survey, stakeholder analysis, resources analysis, vision and action plan development, zonation, monitoring and evaluation, and finally, launching the management plan. The community has developed ownership by making the whole process participatory and has gained a deeper understanding of the intricate relationship between wetlands and the environment and the implications on their livelihoods. The objective of this component is to reduce environmental stresses from the lake basin through the implementation of non-point pollution mitigation and prevention measures. Tukilinda catchment yetu vizuri kama jinsi tunavyofanya leo basi maji yataweza kuingia mchangani badala ya kuteremka kuwa na runoff na kwenda mtoni na mchanga wetu wote. Tunatazamia kwamba baada ya mradi huu tutaweza kuwa tume eh, tume rehabilitate eh, 2000 hectares of mau the component supports community driven investments in rehabilitating the wetlands and catchment areas of river nyando the community is grouped into different groups that have a vision of improving the wetlands in the lake basin, also known as water resource users associations that are charged with protecting water bodies that are in their localities, as well as encouraging self-regulation. The reason for developing this uh, plan is that we want to ensure that wetlands in the basin are conserved because it's an area where water is conserved. So with the, by conserving this wetlands, we are sure we'll be able to conserve our water. This is also a very important biodiversity area where we have some unique uh, animals that are existing in this wetlands. By conserving this wetlands, we'll be able to save these endangered uh, species. We are sure these uh, animals will get a habitat uh, to survive. Uh, it has been proved that when you pass any polluted water through the wetlands, they are able to filter the pollutants out and what you get is clean water. The plan will be used for creating community awareness of key environmental issues of the Lake Victoria Basin and the benefit of their participation in the wetland management.
ALFM wametusaidia tukutane sisi wote tumeenda kwa seminars mbali mbali ambapo tuliweza kutengeneza majarida mengi ama plan ambazo tutatumia kwa miaka sijazo hapa Kingwal our programs within the ministry in particular focus on conservation of environment through an integrated landscape conservation that includes uh, focusing on uh, the type of uh, trees that can be planted along the rivers, how we can conserve our rivers. When we have looked at some of the rivers around, there's no water flowing in those rivers. It is red soil going down Lake Victoria. But we want to say that when we work together with communities through uh, structures such as uh, Water Resource Users Association, uh, forest, uh, community forest associations, we can be able to conserve and protect the environment and ensure that there is food security despite climate change. And the idea of integrated landscape conservation is very, very important. Fundamentally, we are doing all this to ensure that we eliminate or completely eradicate poverty. Wetlands are the lungs of the lake and protection of the wetlands ensures that the quality of water released to the lake is clean as it is purified in the wetland. Clean water flowing into the lake ensures a healthy life for all. <laughs>